really know what's been captured in Russia? It's definitely not what you think. Beyond its icy exterior, the unforgiving landscapes of Russia hide a whole realm brimming with mysteries that defy explanation. In the remotest depths and expanses of the Siberian tundra, humanity has encountered baffling enigmas that are guaranteed to leave you spellbound. Join us on a journey as we uncover the perplexing discoveries caught on camera in Russia that shocked the whole world. Number 15. Mummified Monster If you thought that mummies were all Egyptian, think again. A recently discovered mummified monster, uncovered from its frigid slumber by a bunch of miners in Russia, has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Despite being long dead, the monster mummy has remained perfectly intact due to perfect preservation owing to the extreme cold and ice. We can also see clear details of its anatomy and fur. As for its identity, people are speculating about the identity of the monster. Some have argued that it may be an ancient mammal, but we're far from being sure about things here. The biodiversity of bygone eras was indeed, in some cases, mysterious enough to be linked to monsters from myths. While scientists are struggling to unravel mysteries about the species' identification, evolution, behaviors, and adaptations, most can only look at the mummy with horror and amazement. Spooky images and videos are circulating all over the internet, and they might as well give nightmares to the weak-hearted. If you think this monster mummy is mysterious, you'll surely be blown away further down this list. Number 14. The Russian Version of Area 51 Speaking of mysteries you probably know of, or have at least heard of, Nevada's famous Area 51. Did you know that Russia has its very own version of Area 51 too? Shocked? Well, it only gets more confusing from here on. In the remote corners of Russia lies Kapustin Yar, a clandestine military installation often dubbed the Russian Area 51. Established in 1946, the area was officially described as the cradle of the Soviet space program and is today presented as a missile testing facility, among other things. But the covert facility has remained veiled in secrecy for over 75 years. And during this time, a lot has happened to convince the locals that something is not right. Kapustin Yar witnessed historic milestones like launching the first dog, man, and artificial satellite into space. Yet beneath its surface, there lies something much more intriguing and puzzling. Legends and theories painting Kapustin Yar as a repository of extraterrestrial remnants are all too common. And for good reason. The underground hangars have never been witnessed in full by the common folk. And people believe that they harbor the wreckage of no fewer than eight alien spacecraft. Of course, no one has seen them, but that's precisely the point. The level of secrecy associated with this base further fuels this kind of thinking. Much like their American counterparts, the Soviets are believed to have used advanced alien technology they had access to during the space race against the West. This did indeed give them a clear edge against their Western foes, both on the space frontier and in weapons development. However, officials have been long silent about all of these speculations and the true nature of Kapustin Yar. The facility maintains a pivotal role in classified projects even in the present, as it did in the past, and even in the 21st century, its true nature remains obscure. People have also at times even shared images of little blue alien-like beings they encountered in this area, which skeptics have doubted all these years. But in any case, the facility's secrets, big and small, endure, tucked away in the annals of classified history. Number 13. Ancient Resurrected Roundworms After a frozen monster mummy and classified Soviet-era base come alien prison, we have another blast from the past in the form of little roundworms. They may not be impressive in terms of size, but their age will shock you for sure. These minute creatures may seem ordinary at the surface, but they've been dormant for millennia. Found in the cruel Siberian permafrost, Samples were sent to experts for further analysis. A revival of this kind has indeed been unprecedented in history. 
and it says more about the level of resilience and adaptation to extreme environments that have made it all possible. These ancient roundworms, scientifically known as nematodes, are microscopic but possess intricate biological structures. Apparently, they can survive in suspended animation for thousands, if not millions, of years. They do so by entering a state of cryptobiosis, or suspended animation, where metabolic activities virtually cease, enabling them to endure extreme temperatures and lack of nutrients. The discovery of these resurrected roundworms holds significant scientific implications. It provides invaluable insights into the mechanisms of survival and dormancy in extremophiles. Some experts have even begun speculating that the vast expanses of space that we consider uninhabitable based on our concept of life as we see it should be reassessed. After all, isn't it possible that extremophiles like these may be able to survive those harsh conditions too? However, as many have pointed out, this groundbreaking discovery also raises ethical concerns, especially concerning the ethical implications of manipulating and potentially reviving extinct life forms. And we may indeed be on that path, but more on that later. Number 12, perfectly preserved, Ice Age Cave Bear. Next up, we have another intact mummy preserved against the elements for millennia. This time, it's not a tiny monster, but rather a humongous Ice Age cave bear. Found remarkably preserved in permafrost, this intact mummy has astounded researchers. The conditions conducive to its preservation have been pivotal in maintaining its remarkable state. The Ice Age cave bear boasts distinct physical characteristics and unique features that are similar to but not the same as that of today's bears. Its size, skeletal structure, and fur patterns are consistent with the idea of paleontologists regarding the necessary adaptations of bears during the Ice Age. Such a remarkably preserved specimen will also allow us to gather further insights into the evolution of bears. This discovery will grant researchers unprecedented access to Ice Age ecosystems shedding light on the fauna and ecological dynamics of ancient times. By extrapolating data from this well-preserved specimen, we can further expand upon what we know of the Siberian tundra from the past. Number 11. Domen Megaliths. Speaking of a peak into the past, You've probably been thoroughly mesmerized by the enigmatic yet resilient megalithic structures like the Stone Hedge. But did you know that Russia too boasts thousands of such megalithic structures? And likewise, we know very little about how someone could have erected these massive rocks. Nestled amidst the undulating slopes of the Caucasus Mountains, Russia holds a treasure trove of ancient marvels. These are called domons, and they are often termed megalithic tombs. Remarkably, despite their historical significance, only a fraction of the estimated 3,000 domans have been thoroughly investigated. Most of them remain veiled in mystery. The locals refer to these colossal stone edifices as houses of the dead. Dating back to approximately 2000 to 3000 BCE, these megaliths were initially conceived as burial chambers but their purpose apparently evolved through time. These ancient repositories have long been stripped of any treasures they once held, pillaged by time and human interference. Archaeologists believe that the ancients crafted these domains with bronze chisels and primitive tools of the time. Heavier slabs had to be painstakingly transported, and these formed the foundations or roofs of these tombs. But the hard part does not end here. These domains had to be strategically positioned upon plateaus or atop hills, which is no easy feat. While time has eroded their original purpose and significance, these enduring testaments to craftsmanship invite modern admiration. Number 10. Whalebone Alley Speaking of enduring testaments, this next one probably reminds us of all of the stuff from nightmares. The Whalebone Alley is exactly as it sounds. This remote archaeological site lies along the coast of northern Siberia. 
and gives off a haunted appearance but also unveils a profound historical and cultural narrative ingrained in the region. The layout and arrangement of whale bones are quite striking. One can almost make out walkways and arches based on how these bones are arranged. Not that anyone would dare walk through these haunted walkways. Among experts, theories surrounding its origin range from ritualistic purposes to a means of commemorating whale hunting activities. Whalebone Alley is steeped in rich indigenous beliefs and traditions, intimately linked to the local cultures and histories. While we're not exactly sure about the original purpose of the place, we know that it is a highly important site from an archaeological and anthropological perspective. Number 9. 2100-year-old burial of Aphrodite Priestess. Ah, love. How can we not mention this here in the heart of the unforgiving frigid landscapes of Russia? After all, this is the kind of hardship that love can endure, even tame, and it has. The allure of the Greek goddess of love, Aphrodite, transcends boundaries. Her legacy is not confined to the lands where Greek mythology thrived. We know that because of a remarkable discovery along the northeastern coast of the Black Sea, an ancient silver medallion was unearthed from the resting place of a priestess buried some 2,100 years ago. This medallion was crafted in commemoration of the goddess of love, or possibly the Roman equivalent, Venus. It also depicts 10 zodiac signs, rather than the conventional 12. As for the priestess herself, the medallion offers us some clues about her role in the realm of Aphrodite's worship. The revered priestess had taken to her grave some other treasures too, including silver rings, earrings, and other artifacts. This perfectly reflects the veneration and devotion to the ideals of love and beauty among the ancients of the land. As for the actual worship rituals, we can only presume that there must be some similarity between the practices of this area to those of Greece. But we are clueless when it comes to a fuller picture. In any case, it is a remarkable find. We can only wait until we're able to unlock further chapters in the enigmatic tale of this ancient priestess, her devotion to Aphrodite, and the lost city that still whispers its secrets across the waves of time. Number 8. Mammoth Cloning. To be achieved by 2027. Yes, you heard that right. News has come to surface that advances in genetic research have sparked discussions among Russian geneticists about the possibility of resurrecting mammoths through cloning. The progress in cloning technology and genetic manipulation has raised hopes of resurrecting other extinct species as well. But it's easier said than done. Cloning extinct mammoths poses significant technical challenges. First of all, Preserving intact DNA and overcoming the complexities of reconstructing an entire organism are obstacles. Then there are ethical debates surrounding de-extinction. In any case, the successful cloning of mammoths could have profound environmental impacts, and scientists from the world over have taken notice. In response to efforts from the Russian side, a Dallas-based company from the USA has now begun seeking millions of dollars in funding with the promise to revive the extinct mammoths by 2027. Number 7. The Spooky Sea Skeleton There's still a long wait for 2027, but until then, feast your eyes on this. The sea just spat out a spine-chilling skeleton along the Russian coast that sent shockwaves through the local community. Among the locals, the remarkable discovery has evoked whispered tales of mysterious sea monsters that had been hitherto lurking beneath the depths, suddenly surfacing in the face of death. And what could be so horrible to have killed such a humongous beast? The formidable size and eerie form set apart the skeleton, defying resemblance to any ordinary marine inhabitant found washed ashore. Naturally, the skeleton was swiftly subjected to rigorous analysis to decipher its enigmatic origins. To no one's shock, the initial examinations dismissed the conventional classifications. This was neither fish nor reptile. A prevailing theory suggested that these were the remains of an undiscovered ancient underwater beast shrouded in centuries of secrecy. 
Photographs of the skeleton, initially captured by passing soldiers in 2006, resurfaced eight years later and hit the internet like a hurricane. This, of course, renewed interest in the specimen, and marine specialists have finally laid bare the truth behind the mystique. The bones, it was revealed, belonged to none other than a colossal beluga whale. The distinctive skull had features that align perfectly with that of beluga wallis, which are renowned for their peculiarly shaped foraheeds. Despite this identification, the skeletal remains continue to haunt the internet not only because of their appearance, but also because of the intellectual roller coaster ride they initiated. Number 6. The Indigo Boy. So far, you've been enigmatic megaliths, ancient remains of long dead animals, round worms that came back to life, and so on. Now, prepared to be amazed by this Russian boy. Well, he's no ordinary boy, you see. Boriska is just 11 years of age but he dazzles the world with an encyclopedic knowledge of Mars and the wider galaxy. Also known as the Indigo Boy, Borsika claims that he is not from here but from Mars. Normally, no one would take this Martian child seriously, but he does a heck of a job convincing everyone that he is indeed from the Red Planet. Holding his head at two weeks old, speaking within months, and displaying advanced cognitive skills at an early age, Borsika has continued to amaze people all his life, and he remains fixated on Earth's salvation. He claims that his home planet was lost to the ebb and flow of time, and that this planet of ours could be next without timely intervention. Despite skepticism, some have argued to at least entertain the possibility. After all, if there's even a glimmer of hope that he could deter the looming threat of nuclear catastrophe, should we not heed this young visionary's plea? Whether these voices are echoes from Borsika's past or a child's imaginative power on the loose, he has convinced everyone that he knows what he's talking about. And in that area, he has utterly astounded everyone. Number 5. The Enigmatic Hairy Sea Monster Here's another potential sea monster for you to wrap your head around. This peculiar hairy sea monster, discovered along the Bering Sea's Pacific stretch, defies conventional classification. Its form is devoid of any discernible anatomical markers. It measures a staggering three times the size of an average human, and its entire body is cloaked in a shroud of white and gray hair. The woman who stumbled upon this mysterious find described it as tubular fur. As far as the creature's true identity is concerned, Speculations ran wild for the time. Some suggested that it could be a dried-out woolly mammoth. Others argued for a resemblance to a hairy octopus. One thing was for sure the carcass was best described using a term coined in 1962. Globster. Globsters are carcasses devoid of any defining features like eyes or a distinct head, yet bearing a semblance to a large octopus, albeit with excessive hair. This hairy enigma, reminiscent of the original Globster, challenges our understanding of marine life, presenting a conundrum that beckons scientific investigation. However, to Sergei Kornev, a renowned Russian marine scientist, the carcass is a decomposed segment of a whale's body. In any case, one thing is for sure, Russia surely gets its fair share of monsters washed up on beaches. Number 4. Canine Frozen in Time Under the thick frost blankets of the Siberian tundra, a canine frozen in time for an astonishing 18,000 years remained hidden until its recent discovery. This puppy was found encased in frozen mud near the city of Yakutsk, and it shows an exceptional state of preservation. Its hair, teeth, eyelashes, and whiskers are all impeccably intact. Curiously, the decision to unearth this frozen relic was not prompted solely by scientific curiosity. As the ice that once cocooned the frozen dog thawed, courtesy of climate change, it necessitated intentional excavation. Similar situations have also led to the discovery of mammoth tusks before. As for the unearthed frozen enigma, much remains unknown. We are yet to identify some specific details of this ancient canine, 
Once we do that, it can help trace its evolutionary history and see where it falls between the boundaries of dog and wolf. As researchers continue their exploration of this icy time capsule, we can only watch with awe at the remarkable state of preservation. Number 3. The Russian City Swallowed by Sinkholes Speaking of time capsules dug out from the past, how about an entire city? This is no joke. Sinkholes are voids beneath the Earth's surface and a facet of nature's power and unpredictability. They have conquered much on land, and one particularly chilling incident occurred in the Russian village of Delalovo, near Tula, where the Earth opened up, creating a colossal sinkhole measuring 49 feet in diameter and plummeting a staggering 98 feet deep. A parallel catastrophe struck near Alkali Selemskan's potash mines, signifying a troubling trend echoing across the Perm region of Russia over the last three decades. These sinkholes happen to mostly occur near abandoned mine shafts. The correlation between these sinkholes and the abandoned mines, mere hundreds of feet below, appears too striking to dismiss as mere coincidence. The ominous history dates back to the late 1980s, notably with the collapse of the Betazniki Potash Mine No. 3 in 1986. Following this, we witnessed more incidents between 1993 and 2005, and the latest harrowing sinking of a railway boxcar into a newly formed abyss in 2010 is all too recent to forget. The toll of these events is also stark. Roughly 12,000 residents were compelled to relocate to safer ground. Plus, the specter of uncertainty looms large, casting shadows over once thriving communities now marked by these silent yet ominous chasms. Number 2. The Curious Case of the T-34 Polar Bear Russians have had a deep fascination with polar bears and heavy artillery. So, it's quite natural for them to fall for a T-34 polar bear, right? Don't worry, this isn't an actual bear tank hybrid, but it's just as silly as one. Strikingly visible against a canvas of snow and ice, a polar bear donning a conspicuous symbol, a distinctive T-34 etched onto its snow-white fur, was caught on camera and has ever since gone viral on the internet. Anatoly Koknev, a research biologist, however, was not amused. He highlighted that the painted symbol could impede the bear's natural hunting abilities, disrupt its camouflage, and hinder its capacity to blend seamlessly into its environment. Such interference, he suggested, might endure for weeks before the marking fades away naturally. As for the T-34 mark, many naturally linked it to the iconic Russian tank from World War II. But it turned out to be something else entirely. It was actually a coordinate grid on the Arctic archipelago. The bear's marking, as it turns out, was a sanctioned action undertaken by scientists from the Severtsov Institute of Ecology and Evolution. Since the bear persistently frequented a restricted dumping area, experts sedated, marked, and relocated the animal to a distant location. The branded symbol allowed scientists to monitor the bear's movements and ensure that it did not enter the prohibited area again it was anticipated to fade away within a few weeks, posing minimal long-term impact. But biologists raising alarm over this kind of interference are not wrong to point out the troubles with this approach. Number 1. The Noble Warrior's Tomb If you're shocked or amazed right now, wait to see or rather meet this next entry. A recently unearthed crypt in Russia offers us a sight of a captivating fusion of wealth and martial prowess within an ancient resting place. This remarkable find unraveled within the confines of a 1,500-year-old tomb, revealing the remains of an esteemed warrior from a noble lineage. A team from the Institute of Archaeology of the Russian Academy of Sciences deserves credit for the impressive find. They unearthed the warrior's skeletal remnants adjacent to riding stirrups, spurs, and a sword belt. The tomb, buried approximately five meters deep, also housed treasures emblematic of opulence and aristocracy. But there's more to it. Apparently, he had been buried alongside his wife and three children. The real mystery, however, 
is how come all of them died at once? Or were all of them even dead when they were buried? Some speculate that they may have succumbed to a devastating plague. Others suggest that they may have fallen prey to marauding nomadic tribes. While we can't be 100% sure about things here, findings like these continue to illuminate the intricate tapestry woven by the history of Russia from a bygone era. Well, that's all about unbelievable moments caught on camera from Russia for now. We hope to catch you with the next one.